then. We stayed two nights. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're supposed to. But I we told did. them that, that we stayed two nights because the hospitality was good, the food was good, the beer was good. Yeah. The, faci yeah. the facilities were good as well. You get Wi Fi in the car park. Yeah. That was such a bonus. So basically, when you get there, you go in, tell them you want to stay overnight in the car park, they give you a little yellow ticket to uh, put in your your windscreen just so they know who's stopping for the night. Uh, that's it essentially. They give you a little information leaflet, it gives you the code for the toilets. Which changes daily. Which changes daily. Yeah. Um, yeah. The food was amazing. It was really good. Really nice home cooked. So first night I had the uh, the, the burger which was well, delicious. I had the pie. You had the steak and ale pie. Yeah. And then last night I went for the uh, Tyrol beer battered haddock. Oh my god, the batter! Mushy peas, tartar sauce, chips. It was delicious. And you had almonds. I had to take some of it back to the van. Yeah, we'll it's... drop the pictures in actually so you can see. Yeah. Almonds was only like thirteen pounds. Yeah, but you got half a pork pie with that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sausage roll. It was only. What I got with it was so nice, so nice. You know, all that walk yesterday, you might put it all back on. No, <laughs> My calves are hurting this morning. Right, so we're heading to another viaduct. Steve's got the bug. I've got the, the bug. Right, <laughs> we'll catch you there. Still exploring. So oh, this is the, uh, yeah. Oh, how cute! This is Dent Viaduct. And I've just uh, you'll see on the drone shots as well. I found the uh, oh, wow. northern entrance to the Blaymore Tunnel. Look at this pretty little view. This is lovely, isn't it? The old little footbridge there, look. Get a better place. shot of that. There you go. And we're just coming into Dent Dale now. Might have a little wander up onto that footbridge, shall we? Anna? You go, because we've left Isla. That's all right, should be all right. I say yet again, these uh, Yorkshire Dales never fail to impress. Look at this. The old little footbridge there, look at that, hey? What do you think to it, Anna? Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm so find. glad that we decided to come and try and find these viaducts and that, because we would never have found this. So pretty. Oh, look at the view through here. That's Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? And even upstream, look. The train just passed over the viaduct there as well. Well, guys, what do you think to that then, eh? Fantastic place.
Golden Gate, we're heading through Dentdale now. Birthplace of Adam Sedgwick. Let's go through. And Adam Sedgwick was the guy who discovered the Dent fault line, which we saw last week. Stunning, isn't it? Now again. Taking a st stop here in Dent. Explore this charming little village. Looks like quite a bit to I see, actually. Yeah. Let's have a wander. It's a beautiful bank holiday. Where we've just drove through with a motor home. <laughs> but hey, we made it. Let's have a wander through this charming little village here in the Yorkshire Dales. This is Dent. Look at the. I thought this was just Sebra. No, this is Dent. Oh, oh right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We were heading towards Sebra, but this is actually Dent, which was an unexpected stop, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. Few narrow streets to navigate through as well. Well done, Steve. <laughs> on the back. Nah, they're not that bad. <laughs> that bridge was. Yeah, that bridge was. <coughs> Steps to nowhere. That would have been to get onto your horse. Oh yeah. Wouldn't it? Come out of the pub, climb up the steps, and get onto your your horse. the pub's not open. <laughs> It's only 10, 10 past 10. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Beautiful little cobbled yeah. streets, aren't they? Two pubs. Two pubs, eh? Look, <laughs> George and Dragon. Sun in behind us. And then there was the other one we just saw, the cobblestone. I think that was a restaurant. Was it? Yeah. Find some fantastic little places, don't we, when we're out and about? Yeah. Surprising what you can find if you just keep looking. Yeah, absolutely. Way here, you can see there's loads of different walks around here. You can do that. You can follow this all the way from Leeds, Bradford, Hilkley, all the way up to Bowness, Lake Windermere. Plenty of walking options, isn't there? Isn't there? Loads of walking options. Uh -huh. And this is the River D. So the whole route is generally fairly easy and well marked. Being 80 miles long, the walk will be accomplished in less than a week and is therefore ideal induction to long distance walking for less experienced walkers. Me. Fancy <laughs> doing that then? That'd 80 be cool, miles? Isn't it? 80 miles. Until you get like 10 mile in. No, I don't mind because it's all flat. I think it's all flat because obviously. Right, so we're going to do the other two peaks. And we're going to do the Dale's Way. I was drunk when I said that. <laughs> this is a 
Bit of a narrow step, way, isn't it? Oh, I'm not going through that. <laughs> I'll meet you back up here. I'm not going to squeeze through there, am I? <laughs> I bet you do. I bet I'm not even going to try. Look at the gate on the other side. Look how narrow that is. No. <laughs> not even Stevie size. No. <laughs> ain't happening. <laughs> well, if you ain't getting through it, I ain't getting through. <laughs> This is so peaceful, isn't it? Nice little village, isn't it? It's really lovely. Yeah. And so friendly as well. He's a way back down now. <laughs> <laughs> Come out the pub, like drunk, and then up onto the steps, and then onto your horse. Well, in this case, it's donkey. <laughs> <laughs> There's another. I'm sure it's a bar and a restaurant, it? isn't it? Okay. 17th century. Stone close. Oh, they do breakfast. Cake. It's closed. Wine and beers. Yeah, it's They're closed, closed today. Not open on a Monday. Which is today. Which is Even today. Even though you thought it was... Uh, Sunday. Yeah. We're in uh, Sedborough now, aren't we? We finally got part, didn't we? Yeah. We when did we try a few this? Days. A few days ago. Was it? Yeah. Last yeah. weekend? No, this weekend. No, it wasn't, because this weekend we went straight to Barrow. So it must have been we went last to Barrow, week. and then we came through here on the way, didn't we? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. Anyway, the last time we were here, we couldn't get parked anywhere. So, uh, But we've managed now to get What's parked happening? here in Sebra. So it's going to have an explore around here now, in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. The town's charter dates back to 1251, but long before that, the Normans built a castle here. I wonder where that is then. Nice. Must have been there, look, where you got Castle Hall. Right. That might have been where it was. Yeah. yeah. That's what it remains. St Andrew's Church dates back to Norman times. We went in St Andrew's Church in Dent. Mm -hmm. George Fox, founder of the Quakers, preached in Sedbra in 1652. Sedbra School Library was founded in 1525. Yeah, see, there is a lot of history. A hell of a lot of history, isn't there? Yeah. Anything else? No. no. Interesting. It's still part of the Dales Way as yeah. well. It's funny that it's Cumbria. But still Yorkshire Dales. And the Yorkshire Dales, yeah. Are we just stupid? <laughs> Do we not understand you'd think that? If it would be, you'd think it would be a town in Yorkshire, in the Yorkshire Dales, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe somebody can answer that for us. Yeah, couldn't do it below. <laughs> so this street no. was widened in 1897 commemorate the 16th year of the reign of Queen Victoria. All right. Ah. By her grateful subjects. <laughs> We're all grateful subjects. Oh, look at that. From the top there, look. Oh, yes. So, yeah, so this is another little town in the uh, Yorkshire Dales. I think this is the Yorkshire Dales, or is this Cumbria now, actually? I'm not sure if we've crossed over into Cumbria. I oh, think we might have done, signs. actually. Have a look. So, um, but anyway, it's a stunning little place. Three weekends on the bounce, pretty much now we've been <laughs> here, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, after we we're heading up towards Kirkby Stephen and then up onto the A66 and back towards so it must have been home. Yes, so it was the weekend when we went to Kirby Stephen. We were going to get parked here, yeah. so we went over to Kirby Stephen. That was there. So that was, yeah, whenever that was. Last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's close, it's close.
finish off the weekend. Yeah. And yeah. With one final beer, so we're in the Black Bull Inn in Sebra. Uh -huh. And show your bottle. This is an unusual cola bottle. I don't know if anyone else has ever seen one of these before. Never seen this before. Madagascan cola. Never seen it. Can you see that? Mm. Yeah. And I've got a nice pint of chatter. Chatter. So. Cheers. Here's to another weekend. Here's to another weekend and uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah.